People who are super sensitive to energy, like us, empaths, really need to pay attention to protecting ourselves from negative energy. Now, I don't want you to become fearful of negative energy. I know that can be really common and it's really, um, you know, one of the biggest fears that I see from empaths and healers, the fear of negative energy. But there are so many things that we can do to protect ourselves without living in fear of it. So I have a couple things I'm going to share with you today. The first one is limiting who you hang out with. Now we have to be conscientious of the people that we hang out with. We are the average of the everybody in our circle. So if you look at the people in your circle and if they are all really negative, then maybe you need to make some more choice, different choices about who you're hanging out with. Um, not to say that you need to avoid anybody who's negative, but if you're hanging out with mostly negative people, then that is really going to affect your frequency. The second thing is avoiding negative energy books and movies and music. Now, books, movies, and music go directly into our subconscious because of the way that we process them. And they can actually have... Um, you know, negative entities, negative energetic entities in them because of the energy surrounding them. So we just need to be mindful of what we are putting into our minds and what we're putting into our souls. So it's good to really go through our music and our books and just all of our media and see what are we immersing ourselves with. We want to be immersing ourselves with high positive energy, stuff that's uplifting and inspiring. Now, the third thing is Reiki. Reiki is a natural protection against negative energy. It's, a, it's the highest vibration energy that there is. It's the vibration of love. And when we are immersed with that love energy, when we are flowing that energy all the time, doing our daily self-treatments, then we are naturally protecting ourselves from negative energies. And the way that works is we get to set the vibration. So when we walk into a room of people, if there are a lot of negative people or just a lot of negative energy in that room, we get to set the tone, we get to set the energy. And when you are practicing Reiki, it's extra easy to do that. And again, every time you do your self-treatment, you are clearing out any negative energy or any lower vibrations that are there. So imagine being able to do that on a daily basis. It's really just an amazing way to keep your system clean. Now finally is crystals. Crystals are a great way to, and I, I call it less of protecting against negative energy and more immersing yourself with positive energy. So I have this selenite crystal that I just picked up from, I think it's called Nature's Own in Colorado. This was in Boulder and selenite's amazing and it's not that expensive it's pretty affordable i think this was like 12 dollars for this big one and if you lay it out in the sun and then you just put it next to your heart you'll be able to feel the vibration it's so beautiful and it's such a high frequency that it can help you to feel that high frequency on a regular basis and especially when you're infusing it with reiki so i hope that that helps you to um, just feel more of those positive vibes and less afraid of the negative energy that is just inevitable in our world. And there's actually nothing totally wrong with negative energy. We just need to have a balance. So have an awesome